good kitten internet. I've had something to eat, I've got some sparkling water to drink, and let's get right back to it. So there's something that I had forgotten at the end of the last uh, episode, that while I was going through... Oh, helps if the window's active. While I was going through things, it dawned on me that I didn't repair Peter's power ring. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is egress so I can go repair the power ring. So I tried saving time at the end of the episode and then messed up. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and repair it. Uh, repair could be done at any type of item shop, whether it be weapon or regular generic item. Yeah, repairs get rather expensive, unfortunately. It's a percentage of the value of the item, and Power Ring is actually a fairly valuable item. Jeez, so much noise from the sparkling water. I have a soda stream for reference, so I... I have a soda stream because I bought it used off of somebody at where I work, and it has been the best investment for me ever, because I drink a very large amount of sparkling water. I average somewhere between three and six liters of sparkling water a day. Um, and I bought the soda stream for $50. Is that two years ago? Three years ago? Something like that. And it has been glorious, to put it mildly. Okay, now we're back. Um, I really don't want to do this battle again. <laughs> But this will allow me to help level up a couple of other people. Maybe I can even get Peter a level up out of this. Let's go wake them up early. Hmm. So I kind of want to actually just move myself out here. Except the defense area in here is terrible. Uh, oh, I remember, that spot is a bad spot. I can put Jaha there. That's fine. Although Jaha is going to go boost all in all. So yeah, I think I figured out at one point that the Soda Stream has probably saved me about $700 at this point. Because all I do is pay for the canisters, or pay for the refills on the canisters, and that's about it. It also means that being somebody who is a permanent member of the pedestrian club, I don't have to carry bottles of water everywhere. This is a lot more efficient for me to carry, so even if it wasn't saving me money, I would probably still be doing this. And I have really delicious tasting water because I have an RO filter, so that's always nice. Let's not wait both of them up right now. So, my objective is one, to actually finish the stupid battle already. And more importantly, two, to get at least Gerhalt to 15 and um, Kazin to 14. I want both of them to level up. Um, what level are they? I. I actually have, I'm uploading the previous episode right now. Um, Kazin has 35 XP at the moment. So he's gonna need two kills, basically. Um, can we just get out of the way, please? Hey, you're at level 15, you can stand it. So in order to properly optimize XP, and this is something that a lot of Shining Force players already know instinctively, but I've actually done testing to confirm it. Basically, what you end up needing to do is that the lower level players, or lower level characters need to fight the lower level monsters. So, Peter can fight pretty much anything and get 49 XP for killing it. So, it makes sense for him to fight the weaker stuff because, well, he gets 49 XP for killing it either way. It doesn't particularly matter otherwise. I'm going to conserve more of Jaha's... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, more of his MP, because he ran out last time and that was a problem. Of course, he did level up again, so... Come on. Have I not woken up the zombie yet? Oh, 
almost one to use the fast forward button, but it gets noisy. Once more, how are you? Uh, this episode will be uploaded Tuesday, if I remember correctly. It's still Sunday uh, for me. So, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Hopefully that means that the world hasn't ended by then or anything. Because, boy, did this past week suck. Okay, I've woken up. There it is now. Did I wake up the other part? I don't think so. I wouldn't have walked in the correct location to do that. Yeah, they can't reach me this turn anyway. Fire, that's fine. Trying to go through this as fast as I can. I am really running out of things to talk about on this battle. Ugh, this is my fourth time fighting it. This is where the grind gets bad. It's between now and promotion time. Basically now and chessboard. So, I've briefly mentioned this, but I should probably mention it for those that don't know Shining Force 2 as well as I do. Um, there are three battles in the game that I'm the most concerned about this party surviving. Um, the first one is coming up. Technically, I can do that immediately after this battle. That is Kraken. Uh, the Kraken battle is kind of the wake-up wake up, ah, wake call battle of the game. That is to say... Yep, okay. That's to say that it's the first real boss of the game, and it's a very difficult boss. A lot of the creatures in Kraken have, um... What was I trying to say? Um, a lot of the creatures for Kraken... Okay, I can't use that. ...are very high attack power, and they're also ranged. And not just normal range, they're long ranged, if I remember correctly. So, it gets painful fast. And normally the way you fight the battle, you're kind of expected to barely survive and probably just sacrifice a flyer to go out and kill the Kraken head, which is your target. Um... I don't like doing that, especially since this is a Nuzlocke. I want everybody to survive. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to probably have to grind a bit in order to kill it without anybody dying. And that's going to be painful. There's no other way around it. It's gonna hurt. So... Um, the second one is very shortly after Kraken, actually. The second one of those battles is Taros. Um, the good part about Taros is that you can't lure it. The bad part about Taros is that you can't lure it. It doesn't have movement, so it stays put the entire battle. So you can always just walk away and go and heal, assuming that you have enough healing items. The problem is that, um, I think only Bowie's going to be able to fight it, depending on what Luke ends up being. Luke being the next character I'll be receiving. a lot of damage. Be nice if you actually leveled, though. I have too many archers is the problem, I think. You're not gonna do enough damage, are you? Nope. Would also be nice if you leveled. I'm just going to move you out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. So the zombie can attack over here, so I want somebody who's good on defense there as well. Oh, we can take one hand at least. Oh, he's level 16. 
he might be able to take two hits now. Except defense didn't go up again. Gosh dang it. Oh, I didn't want Sarah to kill him. Uh, dang it me. I wanted Gerhalt to kill him. Gerhalt wouldn't have been in range anyway. So yeah, Taros is the second difficult battle. Um, mostly because Taros actually has the ability to cast Bolt 2, which has an extremely large area of effect. And is generally just nasty to deal with. Um, if I don't level up Peter by then, Peter's going to die. There's absolutely no way he will survive Taros. I'm not even sure if he'll survive uh, Kraken. And that's if I'm careful and let him actually survive this battle. I messed up is that P Kiwi can't reach the heal. Now he can, though. I mean, I'm dead if I don't kill the zombie fast enough, but the zombie will be dead. It'll be fine. Let's only do one point of damage. Oh, three. 5 XP, yay! You just move out. In fact, no, I don't want to block off the zombie in that direction. Just move there, Jaha. You're fine. Um, I don't want to have the bird's brain killed because Bowie's one of my higher level characters right now. Three, four, five. You could actually attack whoever Fake Kazin is. Take that slate. I think that'll kill the zombie, actually. I think it does 11. Yep. There we go. That was a good kill. Gerhalt's 15 now. Good. Do you have a better spell yet? No. Dang it. I mean, to be fair, Gerhalt doesn't have any... Um... Whatchamacallit? Spells that... Gerhalt doesn't have any spells that Kazin wouldn't normally have at this point. Or, Kazin doesn't have any spells that normally that Gerhalt wouldn't have at this point. So it's not really unbalanced. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You can only attack Slade. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. I can power level keep me that way. made a difference, because this would be a totally awesome setup for good archers that way. Um, let's see. Chester, you can't reach jack squat. And one, two, three, four, five. You can pretty much hit anybody other than those goobers. Um, I might as well move out then. MP2. Nice. And Blast 2, which is still kind of useless.
Jesus. Jaha gets even more XP. Sarah. Got 20 more So one heal two and five heal threes is fine. Or four heal twos. Strike. Yes, that is what I wanted to have happen. I mean I would have preferred it to be somebody other than Slade, but I didn't want Bowie to be attacked by two targets. Hopefully, a knit order will be kind to me, and Bowie ends up attacked by the Hobgoblin instead of the soldier. Or, uh, zombie. That would be dumb. Um, let's see. You move five. One, two, three, four, five. Why is my memory so bad? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you should just move there. Yep. RNG was kind to me today. And Bowie is already squishy. I don't need Bowie to take a zombie hit. You also can't reach it. Okay. That is fine. This would be dumb. I mean, it'd be really nice for Kazin to get the XP, but he would die. A painful, horrible death. Peter there should be okay. That was only going to end up affecting Bowie for reference. But Bowie needs the boost. I know I could have had uh, Kiwi Bean, but I didn't want to trust Kiwi Bean around. One XP? I was expecting to have happen. Now it's only five, which is nice, and then the zombie will end up attacking Peter. I think Peter will survive that. Yep, both of them need to move. One, two, three, four. Yep. Well, you're moving anyway. Because I am going to pick you off. 
Hopefully I can actually kill you. I think I can. Yeah. Because that's 44 XP for you and practically none for anybody else. Peter, you're going to run away. Working attack is on me and get some more XP. Yeah, let's attack the zombie. Peter's not in range of anybody else. I gained 5 XP. Uh, nobody else is over here, because I lured them early this time. That was probably a wise move. Yeah, I know it was a waste for Bowie to kill the zombie, but again, I can't let the zombie live. One, two, three, four, five. So you can attack either of those two spots. Back a bit. Move you down. Yeah, boost is expiring. That's fine. Move you down. Sarah be attacked by the Dark Cloud. Okay. Evil Cloud. Dang it! It's always some combination of those things. If I move, then she can't get attacked by anybody. So I'm going to move over here. Okay, go ahead and move down there. Yep, boost is expired. That's fine. I need Kiwi to go heal Peter. Yep. So I think healing XP is based off of the percentage of hit points that you're healing off of somebody. I'm not entirely sure, because it seems to be almost random, but it's always more XP whenever you heal somebody who needs it. Okay, you still can't reach. This is a regroup time. Damn it. Ugh. Stupid ring constantly cracking. Ugh. You're just gonna go move back up where you're out of the way. Kazin because Kazin needs to go faster so he'll gain more XP. My normal strategies don't work very well in this case, other than Healer's Rock, because I have so many archers. I don't have tanks. My tank is a mange. So usually the way I do this is I have tanks up front. Tank will take a hit, will have ranged attackers in the back go ahead and do most of the damage. Tanks finish them off, rinse, repeat. Or whoever finished them off that needs the XP. In this case, I can't do that because most of my party would die in one hit. Or one critical hit, I should say. 
Oh, they haven't moved yet. Grr. Halt. Okay, now they've moved. Peter, I'm gonna put there. Jaha, I'm gonna ask you to soften somebody up. Cloud. Gerhalt. Gerhalt could kill the evil cloud right now. That's not a bad idea. Yep, let's kill the evil cloud. overkill I know, but I need to reduce enemies so I can pick people off. This is a much better position than I was in last time. Uh, Sarah is 15. I need you to stand there. Do I want you to attack? Yes. You can take another hit. Now I want you to finish him off. Yep, that's the order I wanted you to come in. That's good. Yay. And then that should level you. Yes. HP, attack, defense, agility. Good. Alright, so now, other than Peter, my lowest level is 14, right? Yeah, so Chester and Kazin are both at 14. Although Chester's about to level again. And Peter's at crap level. I'll be able to level up Peter faster if I had the Protect Ring. Where is the Protect Ring at in this game? That's later, I know, but how much later is later? Protect Ring, Shining Force 2. Uh, where is that at? Oh, it's all the way out there? Crap, it's at Creed's. Okay, that's going to be a problem. I'm not going to get that for a long time. Oh, my upload's almost finished. Okay. Um, is anybody even hurt? Bowie's a little hurt. I think I'd actually rather save the MP at the moment rather than using a go to. Okay. So I only have three groups left. Two of them have merged together. I'm not going to be able to isolate them. I'm hoping to trigger just part of them. That would be ideal. I'm pretty sure this tort doesn't have defense as one of their high stats, which is a problem, may I note. Um, because I kind of need torts to have good defense. Uh, actual Kiwi has double defense for his primary two stats. That's why he's so good at just hanging everything. This tortoise doesn't. That's a problem. Heal one, I can spare. Okay. Bowie's fully healed back up. That's good. Kiwi gains even more XP. That's also good. The three Death Archers are what I think is actually the problem. What in the world is this thing doing? I keep hearing him. I should go figure that out. I'll be right back. I'm back now. And I grabbed some cheese. So. Where was I? Try 
threaten bottom of stairs. You can't even threaten bottom of stairs. Why do I keep hitting back? I don't know. You're not even close. Okay. I want to lure them. One advantage to how this randomizer ends up working is that um, I know what spells they won't have when I gain them. So, like, for an example, Gerhalt. Gerhalt has Blaze, Egress, and Blast, and that's what he started with. But what I know he doesn't have, ever, is Freezer Boost. Or... Heal or Dispel. Uh, he might have Dispel because Kiwi just recently gained that, but he doesn't have those, and I know this because he's already too high level to not have them. Hmm. Upload finished. I should pick a thumbnail. We will take Peter as a thumbnail. That'll upload in an hour, or that will be live in an hour. Let's continue. All right. I wish I could have two windows active. Currently. That would be really nice. You're not being lured. Interesting. Did I somehow lure the bottom and not the top? I think I did. Sweet. I don't want to move. Stay put. Yep, I have definitely woken them up. I woken up the top part, probably. One, two, three, four, five. I have one person threatened at the moment. You shouldn't move back very far. You should also not move back. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Peter, I kind of want you to stay there. So I'm going to need to boost you. Because your boost just expired. Jaha leveled up again. MP, attack, defense, no HP. I still don't know what his fourth spell is. Interesting. It might be Bolt. That would be perfect. If I got Blaze, Freeze, Boost, and Bolt, that would be pretty much spot on. I wouldn't normally be getting Bolt until 20... the post pro time, basically, so sometime after level 20. So it's possible. I don't know. And that intrigues me. Yep, I 
I've woken up to those two groups. I can make this work. Okay, here's the problem. One, two, three, four. But basically, I need to block people off now. Neither of you hurt at all, no. So my concern is that I'm going to have Peter arrowed, then Peter arrowed again, or this is the problem. I'm actually going to have you heal yourself. Mostly for the XP. I don't think I'm going to need that many heals anyway. I've got three more heals. Two to three more heals, I should say. Uh, you stay put. You're going to arrow. Hit Peter for one. That is glorious. You're going to move up. reposition Chester. Or I'm going to have to reposition my front line, for sure. Chester's 15. Oh, this is a terrible idea. As much as I would like to do that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I would be attacked by everybody. Not gonna happen. Sorry, cousin. You're not gonna do much damage, but you'll do something. Yay, you leveled! Yay! Attack 2, defense 2. Interesting. I was not expecting that. I could thwack both of them. You actually have really good defense. I think I'm going to do that. Two actually makes more sense in this case because zombies are weak against Blaze 2. Gained 1 XP. You're going to fly down and attack the Death Archer, which should kill it or nearly kill it. That's fine. Sarah's a thief is going to go down here and kill the Death Archer. Huh? I need to kill the Death Archer that way. I am going to kill the... and attack the zombie. I think this will be okay. Ooh, yeah, you're not quite down that low. Yep. So I'm going to get rid of the Death Archer out of the way because I want somebody else to stand there. Archer. Yeah, everybody's awake now. Slade. Get rid of that zombie. Because I don't want two zombies to attack on the same turn. I'm still a bit concerned about Sarah right now because she's standing in the low defense area. Can Chester survive a zombie attack? Defense 14. Oh. No, no is the answer. But I can do this. So that's actually a safe spot for Chester. May, is your defense any better? 18. Okay, yes, it is better. Uh, can you survive a hit from the zombie? Zombie's 40? Yeah. 40 minus 18 is 22. You have 27 hit points, and you're on death zero. Ugh. Your defense is 21, but boost is going to expire soon. goes before the zombie, I'm screwed. Two, three, four, five. Oh. Who has it gone? Most of my party's gone at this point. I'm really concerned about Sarah taking that many hits. 
So it's going to be a 19 point hit, and that's going to kill her. I need to protect her. I think I'll survive this. It's going to be tough. I hope May doesn't die as a result of my stupidity. Last. Oh, nope. There's the heal. That's fine. Death Archer was going to survive for another attack anyway, most likely. Yep. Death Archer is attacking Sarah, which is great, actually. Because Sarah can't be hit by anybody else right now. Oh, damn it. I can't be of any use whatsoever. Kiwi, on the other hand, can. How is Kiwi's defense, anyway? 16... Heal to Sarah. Okay, I've got two heal ones remaining, or one heal two remaining. Moment of truth, please survive. Okay. I need to get her the hell out of there. But first, I'm not going to use any of these because I keep forgetting I don't have any healing on him. God damn it, me. Zombie attack. Ooh, double attack. Nice. Good job, Peter. Okay. Here's the situation. I can technically reach anybody except for the boss at this point. I'm going to get arrowed if I attack go anywhere, though. Anywhere at all. This guy is effectively useless right now because he can't move well he can he can actually move back here but he's not going to um i don't need to worry about him nowhere can i move beyond here would i not get arrowed Thirty-two. Your defense is nineteen. Thirty-two minus nineteen is thirteen. You have thirty-two hit points. You can actually survive getting arrowed. Let's get rid of this damn zombie. Once more, this may be a mistake. What I'm doing? Oh. That was not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Let's get some damage over here. I would have been better off the place. Good to know. Didn't know the evil cloud was, you know, weak against Blaze. Um, I need to kill you. I don't want to kill you with Sarah, but I need to kill you. Because now I'm going to get Blaze Tood, and uh, that might be game. I'm not worried about Sarah, I'm worried about Jaha. Jaha's going to get attacked by multiple things. Two things, specifically. I don't think he has that much defense. I need to be able to get in between. I need somebody to go. Okay. Slade can't reach. Somebody go to heal Jaha, or kill the Evil Cloud. One of the two. Slade levels up, that's good. Oh, poop. No. Damn it. May was one of my better archers. Uh, everything's going to hell now, isn't it? Crap, 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 crap. <sighs> I didn't get a chance to heal May. That was my mistake. Damn it. I was doing so well at not letting anybody die. Piece of crap. And I also lost one of my better archers, too. 
that sucks. <sighs> well, I'm still playing turret. That's the problem with the Nuzlocke. Ow! One XP for killing two enemies. He's way too high of a level at this point. <sighs> More concerned about the Death Archer than the main trainer. So well. It all happened because I accidentally skipped Gerhalt's turn when I didn't mean to. Sarah, you have to heal yourself. I want you to die also. I mean, I could survive losing an archer, but losing Sarah would be down. And I'm losing a second archer. Actually, I lost my two good archers and not the crappy archer. And not the. Well, I guess Slade's a decent archer too, but. This was a massacre. And the reason why I messed up with Gerhalt is because he's looking like an archer. Archer Force 2. I don't know if Kraken's possible anymore. Luke, what are you? Please tell me you're something actually useful. I don't know if that's he's actually a bird brain or if they or if that's actually hard coded in because it doesn't say join the force so we'll find out really fast please take the boy with you who are you excuse me but i'm blind D -d -d don't kill me please take him the mayor's a scaredy What? The mayor examined Luke carefully. 
You're warm! You're warm! I'm going to take that as my quote. Because I don't want people to realize in the episode title that people are dead. Hmm. Yep, so the devils wanted Oddler, and they sent out Luke, a bird person, in Oddler's place. <sighs> if you prepare a raft for Bowie. Oh, uh, okay, I can do a raft. Rafts are easy. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Ripster! Yep, that one's Ripster, by the way. Prepare a raft for Prince Luke! But it's the last one we have! Yeah, apparently a town only has one raft, even though they're on a river. I don't care. You can make another if necessary, can't you? Y yes, sir. Oh gods, this was such a massacre. I'm starting to rethink the Nuzlocke part of this. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Let's get rid of us. You're right. Anyway, we have a raft. Yay, raft. Let's go. And just a minute. If it's possible, can you take this blind kid that tried to kill it, uh, that tried to have a bunch of devils go take him? You lazy human. You don't want to take care of him. Um, um, yes? <sighs> Will you take him with us? By the way, this is a but thou must. But, 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 but. Wait, I, mean, I know it's a but thou must. Wait, wait. Please, let me go with you. Huh? Trip fall. Oh, be careful. Yes, I will. As long as I'm here, the devils will return. Maybe Bowie is strong enough to resist them? Wow, I didn't realize this was that long of a but thou must. But you may be injured. Well, I think he should come with us, because Luke has any type of authority whatsoever. You can tell from his item that he's wearing. If we left him here, he could be killed. It's too dangerous, isn't it, Bowie? He needs a guardian. I'll take care of him. Huh. I don't think I've ever gone through that conversation. Interesting. I'm Oddler. I was nearly dead when I came here. Actually, I don't remember. I don't know the reason why the devils are after me. I'm afraid I'll cause you a lot of trouble. He's right. But he's decided to take Oddler with him. Alright, is Luke actually a member of my party at this point? No. I think I have to get the raft first. Bam! It's a raft! Now, let's go to Devil's Tail to see Creed! <laughs> Sounds like Luke is going with us. I am. I want to fight with Bo. This might be exciting! Luke the Thief! has joined the force. Wreck? Thief. Thief. He's level 14. Sarah's level 16, so the stats aren't going to be one-to-one -to, -one to compare. He has a hell of a lot more hit points, though. And way worse attack. Defense and agility, that might actually be just needing to level, but I think he might be a hit point focused thief, which is the worst combination I can think of. I have a raft! Ah. Oh, this was terrible. I mean, I knew I had to start losing characters at some point, but I was hoping to at least get to the Kraken. Losing two of my archers in Archer Force. Ugh, 
Now I'm down to the correct number of archers in the game. Wait, are they even the correct colors? <laughs> I think I might actually have two of the same palette, Archer. Oh, this was just bad. Yes, a huge monster does live in the river. I've already searched everywhere here. We've got a raft now. Yay. The raft takes us through that hole. Oops. And now we can get to a couple of other areas. I don't want to go too far in this direction. Because that's where the Kraken's at. It's off to the left. Um can't go to any new cities at this point. And at this point, I actually have three different locations I can go to. Or is it two and I need to progress one side? Yeah, it's two and I need to progress one side first. So I could either take the Kraken on right now, which is a really freaking dumb idea, or I can go party in the desert. Um, technically, the desert battle is skippable, but it's only skippable through an exploit. So I'm not going to skip it. Uh, the desert battle is also rather nasty. It's down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording here. I hope this is entertaining for people. My failures. They're oh so lovely. And I will talk with you next time. I should have just not reloaded that previous video. I would have been better off killing him right then and there, even though it would have been lower on XP. Because I wouldn't have lost two party members. Ugh. God damn it. So, normally my last party member would be sometime after uh, Taros. Not very far after Taros. I think it's actually the. Um, you get him between the battle after and the two battles after Taros. Um, I don't know how possible this is at this point. We'll find out next time. I at least leveled up Peter finally! <laughs> Bye, Internet.